All right, well, operator error. Oh, well. It's going to be a good time here. <laughs> I'm going to figure this damn thing out. Okay, so I wanted to start a new series, Son of a Biscuit. And I wanted it to be Friday night cooking with Jen. And so that's what we're going to do. But tonight, I'm not cooking, cooking because I'm at home by myself. My son is visiting with his grandmother and his brother, so tonight, lemon pepper tuna salad. So I like to use the Star Kissed White Chunk albacore tuna. I usually like it in vegetable oil, but they did not have that, so I got the water. And you just want to open the can and then squeeze out all the water or oil. So we are going to make lemon pepper tuna salad. And I do not know what's playing on the TV, so sorry about that. I don't own the rights to it. I don't know what movie it is. Put that out there. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. And if you're not, thank you for being loyal and always being around. Remember, before you cook, wash your hands. Okay. So I'm just going to open up these cans like so. And we're going to chunk in the tuna. I'm using my Pampered Chef. Um, it's like a clear, I don't know, it's two liters, and I like it because it's a good to mix in, and you can see through it, so you can see if all your stuff is getting mixed up good, and yeah, so hopefully in a couple weeks we are going to be moved, we're going to be living in um, a mobile home again in the country, and I'll be cooking in a completely different kitchen in a couple of Fridays, so that'll be fun. I wanted to start this kind of go live on Friday nights cooking with Jen because I think I'm not like super scheduled person, but I think this is something that I can handle. So what you're going to need is some lemon pepper, some salt, some onion powder, and some garlic salt. Sorry, it's like will not focus. Okay, so you're going to do all your seasonings to taste. I like quite a bit of salt, just putting it out there. I'll probably add more at the end. Garlic salt, which is more salt. <laughs> Tons of lemon pepper. When I make this, I make a lot, and it lasts for a day or two, and me, my son, whoever's here, we just graze on it. We just love it. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. If not, I'll try to wear my uh, microphone next, next Friday. And then we're going to add this to taste as well. And then what I'm going to do is I already have my onion from when I made my guacamole the other day. So I just put it in a bag and I saved it. And now I'm going to cut off in the same type of dice that I did for my guacamole, but just a little bit bigger. And we're going to dice some onion and put it in that tuna salad because I like a crunchy really wholesome tuna salad. I don't like a sweet tuna salad. That's not my forte. But, but. And then we're just going to go ahead and slice down this way. Be sure when you're cutting you are tucking your fingers back so that if you do cut anything it's just a knuckle. <laughs> Maybe I should do knife skills. You guys want to know how, uh, like knife skills, how to hold a knife, small dice, large dice, medium dice, julienne, chiffonade, you want to know all that? Let me know down there in the comments below if you would like to see all of the knife cuts and learn some new knife skills, because I will teach you if you want to know. Alright, I'm going to take what I've got here, and again, it's just the same little small dice that we did. And we're just going to scoop that in there. I'm going to assess the situation when I get it in. And I'm going to want a little bit more. So I'm just going to dice up here. I am going to go visit my uh, dad tomorrow and my stepmom. We are going to hang out with my friend Robin. And then Sunday we're having a unique party. So all my unique sisters are going to come over and hang out. We're going to go swimming, and I'm excited about it. I haven't got to meet a lot of them, so it'll be, it'll be fun to get to know everybody. All right, put up your onion, whatever you don't use. Again, that's to taste however you like it. 
focus, son of a biscuit. They make me have a real bad attitude. Then I use Velasix Ovals. This is like the pickle of all pickles. And it is so good. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the pickles. I'm going to dice them in the same way that I did the onions. In the same size is what I mean. And I'm going to use about six to eight pickles per my two cans of tuna salad. And so we're just going to dice these up and throw them in. And I like to make them a small dice again. So as you can see, it'll just be this little bitty dices. We want to make sure it's bite size because I don't like to eat my tuna like on a piece of bread. I like to crunch up these little baby crackers. I'm going to show you. Premium minis. These are the best for soup, for tuna, for anything. They're bite sized, they're perfect. They're so, so good. Like, you think premium crackers are good? These are almost like butter crackers. Like, they're the mine. I love them. So, we're just going to keep doing this. Just a little bit further to go. And then we're going to dump it in. What do you guys watch on Friday nights? I rented some movies. So, I got Blockers and Red Sparrow. So, I'm cooking with you guys. I'm doing laundry. And then I'm going to watch some movies, hang out, probably pack some stuff, get my makeup ready to go, you know, and head out. I might, I don't know, I might not. I'm not going to wear probably makeup on Sunday if we're in the pool, so it might be a lie. All right, then I'm going to wash my knife by hand. Never want to put your chef's knife or any other knives that are nice in the dishwasher it's going to loosen up the handle and it's going to kind of ruin them. So you want to do that. All right. Then you're going to take some real Hammond, Hellman's mayonnaise. If you don't like this kind of mayonnaise, then don't get this kind of mayonnaise. But this mayonnaise is the only kind of mayonnaise that matters to me. And then you're going to get a large spoon. I put a lot of stuff in my tuna and I do a couple of them at a time. So, I don't like to bend my good silverware. And you're just going to take a large spoon and you're going to put about three or four heaping wads of mayonnaise. Can't even call it a dollop because that's way more than a dollop. And we're just going to mash it and mix it at the same time if that makes sense so you want to mash up the tuna because you want it to kind of break up it's nice chunk tuna i like the white chunk tuna better um it's just got a better taste to me so we're just going to chop it and mix it i also like the tuna that's in the oil better because it has more of a salty taste, and it's a very natural kind of organic salt when you when they put it in the vegetable oil, and I really enjoy that. I just think that flavor profile is exactly what you're looking for in a tuna salad. So, we're just going to keep at it here for a few more minutes. And what I like about this is that you can see that you've gotten all of your tuna and all of your toppings mixed up together really really good so you're going to grab a tasting utensil a fork a spoon whatever you like and you want to taste it obviously and you want to taste everything that you make before you serve it for me, I need some real lemon. So I'm gonna juice this lemon in my hand, which means I'm gonna squeeze it and get the juices flowing. 
And then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut that right down the middle. Pick out any major seeds that you've got right there on the top. And then hold your lemon this side that you're about to juice up in your hand. And then turn it. And then the seeds will fall in your hand and not into what you're making. Pro tips right there. You guys are welcome. That one's free. <laughs> All right. So what I wanted there was more lemon pepper, but again, I want to use a more natural organic flavor and I know that I've already put seasoning in there. So I'm going to try the real lemon before I try more lemon pepper. Real lemon is just going to have a much more acidic flavor and it's going to blend really good with the onions and the pickles and that lemon pepper that you put in. It's just going to make it so good. Now you're going to mix it up just a little bit more. Find your tasting fork. There it is. Then we're going to taste again. It's pretty good. Pretty good, but I'm going to add a splash more lemon pepper. I don't measure spices because you got to cook to taste. You have to cook it and season it until it tastes like you want it to taste. And that's probably the number one thing to cooking. To people that are not naturals or don't really understand and have to follow direction, I know that's hard to understand. But that's how we chefs do it. <laughs> All right. A little more stirring. A little more tasting. And your tuna salad is done. In less than 15 minutes, you've got a full-blown meal. You can put it in between two pieces of bread, or you can crunch up these little mini crackers and put it all over it and mix it up some more, and then you just eat it. That's it. Super, super easy. Lemon pepper tuna salad. Friday's Cooking with Chef Jen. I'll see you next Friday cooking with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this or you have a request on something that you want to learn how to cook, Drop it, drop it low in the comments below. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much. Happy Friday. Love you. Bye.